when you go and tell somebody that you want to start a company the first reaction is chala murari hero banne by the time i was 33 34 uh, the amount of money that i was getting was much more than what i was expecting and that's the reason you know uh, i was not able to start my venture because there's always a fear of losing so after lot of my internal uh, fight with my own self i decided okay boss this is the time that you need to take a plunge and it was in 2009 uh, i took uh, the plunge starting the company called wise travel india private limited with almost zero capital from the scratch i'm happy that uh, we took that plunge in 2015 we started aveg which is of course a new concept and aveg is globally the only organization which is into transport msp so when we say msp what it means is managed service provider so we go to a large corporation and uh, we say that okay we will be managing the entire transportation for you be it their employee transportation from home office home be it their car rental services be it their leasing so there are three things that we want to do we want to optimize their transport cost optimize their overall requirement and by that if they are able to get some carbon footprints i think that is the value addition to the client let's say today they are using some 1000 vehicles and you are able to reduce it to 700 vehicles that is another economy that they are going to contribute to the society our suggestion to any of such large organization is you please concentrate on your core activity and we will give you not only peace of mind but also at the same time economies optimization and decongestion i think this company aveg is leveraging technology leveraging data to disrupt this industry something i again i find very very exciting i think the transportation employee transportation industry corporate transportation industry is something which is ripe for disruption it's an industry which is uh, you know still today for by and large works very much like it did 10 20 30 years ago it's still a very highly fragmented industry and i think aveg is the agent which is going to make it happen Aveg is not into providing cars. Aveg is only into management, and we don't even aggregate cars. So let's say uh, you are one of my client, and you require some 300 cars. So uh, there is a normal process of RFP, which is carried out, request for proposal, which is called. So some of the large players are called for uh, the negotiations or selecting them, and then there are checks and balances which are put in place as to which car needs to be. inducted which car cannot be inducted what are the compliance parameters so all that is checked before they actually get into the system and all the cars actually are equipped with the uh, technology that is provided because without that you cannot be bring in any economy uh, if you talk about employee transportation if you talk about any of these things the the backbone of the system is the rostering and the routing software how many people are supposed to travel in a particular vehicle so if that is uh, strong then possibly your entire uh, proposition is workable otherwise no so one of the challenge in this business is gestation period is too long so let's say if we start talking to one organization today it might take 6 months to 9 months to close the entire deal and then you have to get into the dna of that organization understand what they need what is their expectations from the service provider in the past and still largely today uh, the industry sells kilometers and hours when you when you buy a, a, a ride you're buying so many hours so many kilometers but is that really what the customer wants no especially if it's a corporate customer what they want is the employees getting transported they want a reasonably high quality of service they want reliability they want safety and the cost should be linked to their outcomes not to the uh, the inputs which is the kilometers or hours and that's what aveg is doing so it's saying look we will make sure that your people move to a, to the slas to a high quality service and you pay for what you get not for what number of kilometers we consume so today we have around 8 to 10 customers who uh, uh, give us business more than 50 crores a year ashok he's a fantastic entrepreneur he's bootstrap this company 
uh, from nothing to one of the largest companies in the space today and continue growing very, very rapidly. Phenomenal execution, a very hungry, very passionate entrepreneur executing very well with a great vision. If you are able to think, speak, dream business, then possibly, yes, you should uh, become an entrepreneur. Uh, don't depend on anybody else, but it has to be your own strength that you have to capitalize on. Don't start with the intent that somebody will come and give you money. You should have enough money to sustain. Your business model should be such that if you need money, it has to be on your own terms. And at least for uh, three to four years, trust me, there's no family life, there's nothing. And most of the time, even when you reach home, uh, you're not in the mood to talk to anybody else. Stop looking at the world because they will demotivate you to such an extent that most of the time you'll be only thinking about that this is not going to work. One of the questions people used to ask me is what is different in this company that you are going to do? So my answer used to be, okay, there are some 2000 companies, I'm 2001, so let me try and survive first. Let, let my head be above the water, then we'll think about the new things. Superhero